Hogwarts professors and what houses they were in. Some of them might be pretty obvious like this first one on the list. Professor McGonagall was a part of the Gryffindor house but she easily could have been a part of the Ravenclaw house with how intelligent she was. But it seems like her bravery and determination got her into the Gryffindor house. Next we have Cerberus Snape and he was obviously a part of the Slytherin house but one might think to themselves what would have happened if he was treated better as a child. Next we have Rubius Hagrid and he was part of the Gryffindor house as a young child. It's hard to remember that he was capable of some terrific magic back when he was a younger child.